doing ladies and gentlemen so we're here today with kingdom we're returning with kingdom oh yes we're back with kingdom we're today with kingdom manga chapter 551 552 553 554 and 555 reaction so in last one, we found out about time limit. Um, oh, the time limit. That will prove obviously some issues. That will prove some complications. At the end of the day, that will prove some challenges. So I'm wondering how these challenges, because generally these challenges are always being overcome. So I'm wondering if and how these challenges will be overcome. So let us hop right into chapter 551, Messenger's Report. I'm assuming this is Osen now receiving the news about um, how long the time limit is, you know, well, they should know how long their own time limit is, I guess, but how long um, the Zhao army, can, not the Zhao army, not so much the army itself, but how long the Zhao can hold on for, which is obviously twice the number of days. So let us see. Granted, if you're losing soldiers in the war, your 10-day provision could suddenly turn into, you know, a month-long provision because your numbers are cut down, slashed down, so... Who knows? You know, who knows? Anyway, far, far away. So we're now, we're now heading into fairy tale territory. Great. Far, far away, brother Grims, to the southwest of those uh, uh, battle ravaged grounds at the royal capital of the state of Shin and the city of Kandu. They'll probably find out about the provisions, I'm assuming. That's my assumption. Or rather, the lack of. Pro uh, they're all dozing off, they're all sleeping. That's how hard they've been at it, how hard they've been working, and suddenly, bang! He's here, sir. So he's it's actually sire, not sir. He's here, sire. Your Majesty, the second messenger has finally arrived at long last. He, he certainly took his time. How many days has it been since the first messenger? Why hasn't General Osen been sending us regular updates? Apologies, my lord. Ah, uh, he's bleeding, of course, you know. Jiao has sealed off Retsubi, the entrance to Inner Jiao. Instead, we had to sneak our way through the mountains, which were packed with patrols. Many of my fellow messengers were captured by them, and I fear that none of them still draw breath. <coughs> Enough with the excuse. Wow. That's, that's ruthless. Enough with the excuses. This guy just literally been through Helen Mac. Hurry up and give your report before you collapse on I And mean, that part, I understand. You, know, you don't want him to say all the information before he dies, but stay on. That's ro that's ruthless. First, if I may ask, what news did the last messenger bring you? That was a good number of days ago. The last we heard, the combined army had split into three parts and had surrounded Gyo with the intention to starve it out. After that, we haven't heard a single peep. I see. Then, as you know, we split into three armies with Kankis charged with Gyo, while the Yotanwa and Heki combined army enraged Ryuyo in battle. Lastly, the Osen army made for the Shukai plains to face the Ribuku, the Ribuku army. General Osen is up against Rib. I mean, wasn't he the whole time? I mean, yeah, he kind of was the whole time, I guess. General Osen is up against the Ribuku. Dear gods, stop fussing. Sure, you could predict it that much at least. Is, is, is that so? Did you come from. It's actually grown a beard. It looks so. It, it looked like so much time has passed when it really shouldn't have. Did you come from the Osen army then? Yeah, yes, sir. I was attached to General Osen's center army up until the third day after the battle at Shukai Plains began. So I'm afraid I only know the situation up until that point. Only up to the third day? No. Any information is better than nothing at this point. So how fair is the battle? About that. <coughs> The show may outnumber us, but the situation is still roughly even, thanks to the tremendous efforts of the left and right wing. Both Xiao and our central armies remain uncommitted. So far, it could be said that we're proving to be an equal match against the Ribuku army. Going to toe to toe against that Ribuku, and evenly matched despite lower numbers of special note, of special note, eh? The future generals, the Gakaga unit, who saved the left wing from what would have been a fatal loss on the first day. On the first day, yeah. As well as it, it, the, it really makes you wonder how many days it's been since like he ran off. He said the third day, but like, how many days has it been since then? You know, did did they say that how many days it's been? He only said that up until the third day. So we don't actually know when he left. He doesn't actually mention when he when he set off, did he? Like, was it a week ago? Was it a day ago? Uh, you see, that's what I'm just saying. Anyway, um... 
the Gakuka unit who saved the left one from what would have been a fatal loss on the first day, as well as the Gyohon, the Gyokoho unit on the right, and the Hisin unit who clashed with a formidable army of 10,000 on the third day. The bravery and courage they showed in their fighting was an outstanding contribution to the battle. Ace is like, Shin. <laughs> just, just, that's all you need to know. Shin, well. <laughs> Well, well, is this fate? It would seem that the three young men summoned by my lord are all making waves out there on the battlefront. Aye, it's not fate. Yeah, they're just that promising. The, the promising new generation. Generation X, is that what it was? I haven't watched wrestling in DX. I haven't watched wrestling in a long... I'm, I'm starting to like start... I'm starting to watch wrestling again now that you know, I'm at home doing nothing. Um, I'm starting to start watching wrestling again, but like that was a long... That was like the last time I really watched it for a bit was with like the generation... DX with like what's the guy's name Triple H and uh, something Hardy I think yeah those two I think that's what it was I, I could be wrong here okay you wrestling fanatics don't come at me D don't come at me Shogunken I understand that this is a very complicated scenario but is the fact that we're an even match for the Riboku army really something to be celebrating right now that is something that we cannot answer here in Kanyu. After all, we don't have any information on how long Gyo's food stores can hold out for. Mm -hmm. If Gyo runs out of food before the Osin army, then it is definitely good news. But if our men are the ones to begin starving first, then it'll be as if a noose were thrown around their necks, slowly being tightened by Riboku with each passing day. Hang on, you're telling me that despite having no idea whose food will run out first, Osin of all people still chose to make such a huge gamble. I mean, what else are you gonna do? You know, what else are you gonna do? Indeed, that right there is the issue. Back when we first received word of them laying siege on Gyo, that, w that one aspect stood out to me more than anything else. If, is Osun really a man who would take a gamble with such high stakes? So what? He's got provisions coming in from where? <laughs> um, so what? What's he got? What's he, yeah, got a good question. What's he got planned? Like, or is he like intending for it to all finish within that period of time, which you know, seems very unlikely. So I don't know. He, he clearly has got something planned. I'm not Osen, right? At any rate, there is no point agonizing over something we don't know. What we need to figure out now is how many more days worth of food our men still have. Well, messenger, have you the answer? Uh, due to all the twists and turns the armies took after crossing Retsubi, even we have lost track of your food stores. I, I do, sir. However, considering the high risk of us messengers being captured by the enemy, we were not privy to the exact numbers. That being said, a rough estimate was made and shared with me right before the army split into three parts. The supplies were divided in a way to sustain all three armies for an equal number of days. Uh, your Tamla army is screwed! Because of Hecky, bro. Yo, Tanma army is screwed. My duck. I believe it was meant to last them 13 days after after battle first began. 13 days, but another way. But put another way, as I was still with the soldiers up until the third day of fighting, at the time of my departure, they should have had enough food left to them after, for another 10 days. 10? Huh? Hold on a minute. You said that they had 10 days worth of them or left them, correct? And how many days did it take you? to reach us here that's what i was asking in the first place five oh we just skipped five days oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no they've got five days left even if they even if they like grab provisions and whatnot and hurry back it might not be in time then doesn't that mean the ocean army only has five days of food left right now y y yes sir <coughs> Five days. In just five more days, they'll starve. Which means, in the next five days, they'll have to somehow defeat Ribokun. Shoei-kun, do not let your fear overcome you now. We committed to this, knowing that this could very well be the most difficult battle we will ever face. Which is exactly why we picked out the best of the best and sent them only to on sent them out only after preparing and equipping them to the utmost of our ability. All we can do now is to believe in the men on the field. They're gonna be cut there. There's gonna be some cannibalism. <laughs> like, like, you know, after each battle, take your enemy's corpses, enemy's horses, and. I mean, your enemy's horses, that's actually a good idea. But, like, your enemy corpses, you know. <laughs> marinate them, season them, barbecue. <laughs> and then just eat them. <laughs> I'll stop, I'll stop. Sire, your majesty, Kyof, Kyof, you have done us a great service in bringing us this news. Have your wounds seen to and be healed thank you sire 
but there is still one last thing I must tell you. I met a dying messenger from the he oh the hecky army. Oh no, the hecky army is screwed. Screwed. I'm probably out of food right now. I met a dying messenger from the Heki army while traveling here. A messenger from Heki, and the information he bade me to pass on was that it has all been burned down. The Heki's army's food stores were burned to cinders by the enemy, and Heki and your Tanwa armies would run out of food days earlier than the rest. Kiaf! What? What? What did you say, Ryuyo? The eighth day since Basel was first met. South soldiers, it's difficult for them. They're starving as well. And then fighting full force. Eesh, they can't even replenish your energy. Eesh, they are done for. They are done for. They are truly, truly done for. The eighth day since battle was first met. You just see them like... Ugh! We know your sorry bastard had all your food bound to us. That's the matter. Didn't you eat breakfast? <laughs> so weak. Just die already. They're out of energy. Heck, he's like, this is all my fault. This is all my fault. This is all my fault. General, the second have been routed. We've lost sight of the third too. The fourth are requesting you to give the order to fall back. He is done for. I like shot at Psyche. Mind crush. Mewtwo, mind crush. <laughs> Heck, he's has been slain. This is all we can spare for you today. It's a lot less than yesterday. We have no choice but to start cutting it down now. Forgive us, General. Food! The food's here! Not at all. We are grateful just to have something to fill our stomachs. Even if we were to receive only half of your own share, we would have nothing but the utmost gratitude. Half? Brother, did this man think he was receiving half of our own portion? Huh? -uh. Half of our share, my goddamn ass. We're the ones stuck eating only half of whatever we can spare you each day foot. Everyone's been forced to forage um, for food in the mountains after fighting each day, and they're still starving. Stop that, Kitari. Heki <laughs> Samuel, kicking a man while he's already down. I approve of it. <laughs> I, I approve of it. I, I, I'm not saying, I'm not against it. I approve of it. Heki Samuel, Kiyof, what are you doing? Are you, you, you useless plane landers want to fight? That's enough, Kitari. If we kept on eating like normal, we'd have run out of food ages ago. I hope you understand that you're a little fuck up. Has, huh? Brother, yeah. What's that shouting? There's fighting somewhere. Enemy attack? No. It's just infighting amongst. Ooh, they they are getting hungry and they are going on a rampage. Uh, like they're like, mm -mm. no, we're not an army. We're a separate. We're separate factions, separate tribes. They're just gonna go on a internal strive right now. Like like even your Tanma likely won't be able to quell the, you know that unrest because people that are hungry. They don't care about uh, when, when they're like you know, sound of mind, sound of mind. They're like, yeah, you know what? Fair enough. But like, once they get hungry, mm -mm. people become animals. <laughs> That's holding a leg, by the way. Uh, you know, cannibalism. Holding holding someone else's leg. <laughs> That's what it is. It started around yesterday night. Yeah. That was a great horse. Oh my! <laughs> uh, I, I did that. I was like, wait a second. This was spot on. I know, see, that wasn't as good. No. And that was good. <laughs> Some are fighting to steal other tribes' horses to butcher for food. What? Everyone treasures their own mounds, obviously. Take a good hard look, you idiots, from the plains, eh? As the hunger sets in more and more, we won't even be in any shape to put up and get fight against our enemies. The mountain tribes don't really get along to begin with, exactly. Ah, here comes the mediator. Right now, Lord of Death. At this rate, the entire army will collapse in three days. Something must be done at first. I know that. And after all, it's not like our food stores will last another three days anyway. What? Bajo, summon all the tribe chieftains. I'll be sharing our upcoming battle plan. One that will decide whether we win or lose, live or die. Just... <sighs> so they're forced in a situation where... They have to take a massive, massive gamble. I mean, I'm all for it. I'm all for the massive, massive gamble. If that's the way it's, if that's the way it has to be, then that's the way it has to be. You know, that's just the way it has to be. <laughs> Chapter five: Strategy. Oh, strategy of sacrifice. Oh no. 
all the tent is just surrounded by everyone. They're like, no, nah, nobody's getting in there. All the chieftains are, what the, wait, stop. Uh, they're all on a hecky bro's neck. They're all like, it's because of you, you little, yeah, you, if you were just better. And if you just protected your provisions, it w we wouldn't be in a situation to begin with. Wait, stop. We only came because we were told this was a strategy meeting. Stay back. Step away from Hecky Summon. Is there anyone here who can understand us? Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! What the hell is he doing here? It's all because of him that we're going hungry. So this is the idiot that had all his food burned to ash. You should stop there, old Ragi Chieftain. Any harm done to the Plainslanders will not be tolerated. Yes, and you're willing to follow something as stupid as that. What's wrong with cutting off the head of someone who costs our supplies? You realize that it's the Lord of Death's order, right? <laughs> so what if it is? Like I give a damn about... It's the face in front of him, like, hello? Hello? I heard you were talking smack, bro. I heard you were talking smack, bro. I heard you were talking smack, bro. All three of them actually arrive. All three of them. Oh, yeah. She's like, hello, son. Clocks, cl clocks him in the head, so he's like... <laughs> out, out cold, and then she just kicks his head like, ooh, damn, ooh, damn, did you see that? The Tiger Slayer, Raggy Chieftain, was taken out in just two hits. Oh my, oh my, yeah, yeah, ooh. <laughs> oh my, Hits. I'm pretty sure the k the second kick wasn't needed. I mean, I agree, but it helped for a dramatic effect. <laughs> the Lord of Death is terrifying. Have you all gathered here, chieftains of the tribes, without a mask? That is one of the rare times where she doesn't have a mask on. I feel like Lord of Death, Lord of Death. That's all. That's all it took. Everyone else like ah fuck fuck Eki. We still hate him, but we're not gonna kill him. Hey, we're good. We're good. Gucci, man, you're down, my lord of death, bro. A bunch of idiots. <laughs> and, and point on, translate for hecky something. I feel. I just like wasting my breath, so I'll get straight to the point. Our food stores will only last another three days. Just a tiger there, like, hello. You just see it by the like the, the twin blades, like, <laughs> wow. Alright, so obviously, giant. I wonder where. What's his name? Raikin? Is that his name? Raijin? The big giant um, ape like creature is. You know, the, the one from like the first arc that used to like follow um, Ace's half brother. I forgot his name right now. Uh, I wonder where he is because he was always with them. Three days. Just, just three days? Only three. Heck, he's stuck. He's like. Did she just say three days? They're going nuts. Shut up. That's all it took. <laughs> That's all it took. All of them that were going nuts. I was like, Baka, no, Nani, no, Masaka, no, Baka, no, no. They're like, shut up. Okay. Okay, Chief, what's your plan? Oh, brilliant. <laughs> With that being said, with that being our situation, there are only two choices available to us right now. With the first being an immediate retreat followed by a frantic escape as we desperately try to reach safe haven, safe haven in the western mountains. Okay, retreat or escape? I mean, where is the victory option? <laughs> well, the alternative is to crush the enemy within the next three days and claim all their food for ourselves. I mean, easier said than done. You haven't tried. You've been at it now for uh, you know a few days now, and uh, there's still no significant progress from what I can see. If that's all there is, then it's not even a choice, is it? Phew. That's true, Kitari. Naturally, if anyone had voted for the first option, then the heads would have flown right here in this tent. Whew, that was close. <laughs> oh, my goodness! <laughs> Just about made it. I could figure I didn't speak out. That's a relief to hear, isn't it, General? At the very least, they won't be retreating. Now hold a moment. Hold that. Now hold a moment. Montanwa. Old Enpo Montanwa. 
Now hold a moment, Montanwa. Uh, old Tempo? When you say crushing the enemy and claiming their food, you mean to somehow capture the natural fortress of a city in the next three days. Is that correct, Montanwa? That's exactly right, old Tempo. Who the hell is Montanwa? Yeah. <laughs> But that is practically an impossible feat. He's an elder, but he's got a sword. He, he, he's a mountain folk with a sword. An elder. He, he's made it to the elderly stage. You know he's a badass, alright? You don't live that long without having the skills to back it up, even though he's using a cane. In these last eight days of fighting, we have not even been able to come anywhere close to this city. In no small part due to the seemingly, seemingly endless number of soldiers that keep pouring out of their gates. That's right. It's exactly as he says. We haven't even been able to get a proper grasp of the enemy's total number. And now, the plans is to not only defeat that huge army in the next three days, but to also capture that city as well. Achieving something like that would be close to a miracle. I am well aware that this will be difficult. Which is why tomorrow, we will require sacrifice. Oh no. There's going to be one group that's just going to run in and like, climb over the wall or something and attack from the inside or something. I don't know. We require a strategy of sacrifice, one as painful as cutting our own flesh from our bodies if we are to hope to challenge them. Who's going to be the sacrificial piece, Hecky? I don't think... No. She's just going to use her own soldiers, I feel like, to, like, spark the morale, I guess, or something. Well, the more people dying will also mean more food to go around. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Less, less mouths to feed, eh? Not a bad idea? You sure about that? Ha! <laughs> Enough of the teasing already, Lord of Death. If you've got a plan, then hurry up and share it. When you tease us like that, I can practically smell the blood in the air. I can barely control myself. Foo. It's not, it's not impressive enough to get worked up about. Goba, Ven, and Tork, the three brothers and blood relatives of the Quan Rong King Rozo. Tomorrow, those three men must die, no matter what the cost. This was, was previously translated incorrectly as Bago. Bobo Baggins. Okay. Bago. Bago, 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 Bago. Okay. Just an old, uh, uh, old bunch of Bago. And those three, uh, those three are the free sword of the Quan Rong army. Huh. I see. Without a single one of them will be an easy fight. Last time, the Panam Rocker tribes ran into them and were slaughtered. I know. But take them out, and the strength of the Quan Rong army will be cut in R. She's gonna send her right hand and her left hand, isn't she? You need the most capable fighters, essentially. Individual capable fighters. Those three are the free swords of the Quan Rong army. Ha! <laughs> I see. But not a single one of them will be an easy fight. Last time, the final rocket types ran into them and were slaughtered. I know, but take them out, and the strength of the Quan Rong army will be cut in half. So tomorrow we will have. So tomorrow we will have my personal army led by exactly Bajo, the Figo tribe, and lastly the Meta tribe. We all knew Bajo would, you know, head off. That that's kind of expected at this point. That he would head off. You know, Bajo. We have known of his strength since like the first arc that he is like the second in basically the right hand to um to Yotanwa. And lastly so the Figo, the Bajio I guess army if you want to call it that Figo tribe and the Mera tribe. We will hold the three armies of the Quan Rong and claim the heads of those three commanders. All of the other tribes shall be placed under the command of either the Figo king, Danto, the Mera chieftain, Katari, or Bajo, and will do battle according to the orders they are given. Do you hear me? No matter how many lives we lose tomorrow, we must kill those free commanders. Nya, 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 nya. Then I suppose I'll start tomorrow by throwing the Zan tribe at. Oh no. There goes the personal. The, the personal fix. <laughs> the Mara tribe needs no other help. Wait! He's like. Let, let, me, let, let me be one of the free. I, I, I need to atone. I need to atone for my mistake. It's all because of me. Heki sama. What is it, General Heki? Pon pan. Ponan translate for us for everyone. Why just why are you going this far? It's all because of my blunder that we are in this situation and now tomorrow's battle will see countless casualties on your side. No. Even then, this is supposed to be a quarrel between Shin and Zhao to begin with. They're your allies. They're part of Shin now. 
<laughs> you're still viewing them as like a separate faction while, while they're not why is it that you that you still chose to share your food with us even when it meant your own men would starve why is it that people of the mountains such as yourself are willing to spill so much of our of your own blood for our cause you ask me this now after all that we have been through hecky and to think that since long ago i fought as you as a friend and come that's it yeah exactly exactly that's just, that's what I'm saying. It's kind of disrespectful, honestly. It's a little bit disrespectful. Like, I get it. You feel you you feel like it's all your fault. And so many people are dying, but like, they're part of Shin now. Like, they've been part of Shin for a long time. The second day, we're like, oh, you know what? Ace, we'll follow him. He seems like a good person. They were part of Shin, and when I say Shin, I don't mean the 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 the, the, the future general. I'm talking well, that the current the the, the the future great general. Yeah, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about Shin, the country of Shin. What is it? T -t -t in that case, my men and I are willing to offer an equal, no, an even greater number of lives in tomorrow's battle. Hence, Commander Yotanwa, I beg of you, please grant me this opportunity to redeem myself. I humbly request that you entrust my army with being one of the three key armies in tomorrow's assault. I feel like the Figo army is not going to be there then. What, what did he just... Please, I beg of you, I, Heki, hereby swear that I will not disappoint you any further. Good night. That's probably just, this is probably gonna be like good night. You're just not good enough. That 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 would that would be brutal, all right? That would be brutal. If she were to say, "I'm sorry, bro. Hecky, I'm sorry, Hecky, bro. But you're useless, bro. You're, you're useless. You see that little shin kid, right? You were already in the army. You were already an established lieutenant, commander, right? And this little this little brat called Shin just is at your level now. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna surpass you. By the end of this, right? By the end of this arc, he'll be a great general alongside me. Well, you'll still be there. Sorry, hecky, bro. It's just the way it is. You know, you're not, you're not talented. You're not gifted. You're not the Mera tribe. You're not Baju. You're not, you know, the Figo tribe. You're just a bro. Hecky, bro. If she just had that, that would be the most brutal thing. I'd live for it, but that's that's not gonna be the case. You, you don't you don't give a speech like that. Like I, I'll offer all my life, and then just be like, nah, nah, nah. You see, that because that would be ruthless. That would actually be ruthless. Please entrust my army with being one of the three key armies in tomorrow's assault. Please, I beg of you. I hecky hereby swear that I will not disappoint you any further. He just looks at him, tiny little, tiny little. Ooh. No, just a tiny little smile. Just a tiny, clear, just a, a tiny little smile. I live for that smile. I, I, I actually live for that smile. What if that was our plan all along? Like, just not include him and then, like, have him, like, beg for that position to, like, you know, kind of show all the other tribes that, yeah, hey, you know what, this guy, he's not as bad. He's an idiot, but he's not as bad. <laughs> Who knows? Very well. There will be a change in tomorrow's strategy, just listen like that. One of the three queen armies in tomorrow's assault, the Mera tribe will be re Oh no, the Mera tribe is gonna go at it then. Oh no, they're gonna, they're gonna feel like they're being slighted, a disrespect. In tomorrow's assault, Badger's looking on like, why? Well, the Mera tribe is clearly better. I'm not saying they are, I'm saying that's what he's clearly, f I think, thinking. That the Mera tribe will be not be happy. Heck is like, <gasps> the Mera tribe's like, why? <laughs> <laughs> However, any further failure will not be tolerated, General Hecky. Oh, she's smiling. <laughs> I'm turning into a simp. Yes, ma'am. Ah. Thank you so much. I have found that getting me. Crash. Stop it, Kitari. You Hecky, bro. This, this is your time to shine, alright? You, you were pretty in the past, you were used by Osin. You need, you need a big win right now. You, I, I, you, you've had too many losses. You need a big win right now. You need a big win right now. You need a big win. I don't like this whole W and L scene that's going on on like a different YouTube side of things. The One Piece YouTube side where like everything a character does is an L. Everything, you know, every time they do something good, it's a W. So all the characters are called, in this case, they would be called Lecky because he's just full of L's. I need you to be Wecky right now. I need you to be Wecky. No, no longer lecky, I need you to be wecky. Be wecky. That's what I need to happen right now. You need to take a W. Your Tanma has already a W in her name. That's fine. You need a W in your name right now. And, and no longer an L. Hecky. Oh, bro. 
Have our men all been mobilized? Yes, sir. They should arrive shortly. What if the mountain soldiers under our command? Eh, that we're not sure, General. But what? But we're setting out right that way. Ah, the mayor tries like that. It's your time, as, If if it's your time, as orders, we'll follow. But I hate you. But we'll follow. Haki Sama, it's the Mera siblings again. Stop that, Kitari. I'm not doing anything. Then once again, I am Katari, chieftain of the Mera, his sister, Kitari. Br I bring with me her huh? 12 tribes, including my own, for a total of 5,000 men. Just as your time were or ordered, we promise to fight under your command. General Haki! Gen right now, they're screaming General Haki. If this doesn't go well, they're going to be saying, General Haki, come here, bro. Just, I just want to have a word with you. Break his arm. That's gonna happen. <laughs> no more failures. What? So many? 5,000, you say? General Hecky. General Hecky, hang on. Why are they chanting my name? General Hecky, good question, sir. Katari made sure to teach them that, at least. General Hecky, that's all I know. But even taking that into account, why are they so. I believe you have some misconception about us. What? More so than you than more so than you imagine. We the people of the mountains adore you and your kind. Your Tamla was smiling earlier. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. If anything Ace needs a needs a needs a queen. Right now you know he's got he's got he's got his wifey but like he needs a political marriage and the mountain tribe, I mean the mountain tribe is already part of shame, but the mountain tribe is only growing and growing. I don't know, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I, I, I. <laughs> Moving on. Adore you and your kind, enough to leave behind our homes and travel here to fight our, your enemies. General Hecky, yeah, not me though. It's like, no, bro, come on now, come, come on now, stop, stop, stop with that bullshit, stop with that BS, alright? Ah, Hecky Sama, our soldiers have arrived as well. Form up together with our 5,000, we'll number 10,000 all up. Katari Dono, how does one say move out in your language? Luden, the, ti the, top, the top, the title. Cut. Luden! 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 Well, what's Katari be lying? Yeah, it's actually something else, but like Luden just means, yo, peace up, bro. Hey, yo, what's up, guys? What, yo, what you all doing, bro? Homie. Uh, yeah, bro. And that's what that's probably what Luden actually means. Whoa! What's our response? One of the three Quanron commanders shall fall by our hands on this day. Do you all hear me? All troops, move on, Daria. Luden! Tanwa Sama, it looks like the Heki army and the Mera tribes have set up. <laughs> the Figure King has also finally dragged himself out of his tent. Phew, this is quick by your standards. Well, Baji has already begun assuming his formation, of course. The moment is almost upon us, indeed. Tanwa Sama, I've brought the chieftain of the Enshu tribe. What is it now? It must be important for you to ask me, for me of all now of all times, Man Tanwa. Tanwa Sama asked for old Enpo, Man Tanwa? My apologies for interrupting you, old Enpo. Like, like he's got cloud if she's like, Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. If it was everyone else, is like, Shut the fuck up. I still have you. With him, he's like, oh, Montanwa, I apologize. I apologize. Like the, like a previous generation king or something. Chieftain of the Enshu tribe. Monkey paw hand. But I have a favor to ask of your Enshu tribe. No. Is the favor... You, you, you guys are like the best at fighting. Like everyone else, she asks a favor. They're like, okay, we'll do it. He, no. <laughs> That's the wisdom of the ages. He's just like, no. And off they go. Here they come. Combat formations. Da -da -da -da. And they've shown themselves. Hecky somehow looks like we got a bunnin. The middle brother, as we expected. They say he's the cruelest out of them. Oh my. Which means the youngest talk will be going up against the Figo King. Right? Alright, 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 alright. There's so many mistranslation. Note, mistranslated as when in the previous chapter. Like, like how, how do you mistranslate so much nonsense? <laughs> what, I mean, names are always difficult to, trans to translate, so it makes sense, actually. <laughs> what is it, brother? Wait a minute. Just how many of them are... Oh, they got like 50 billion or something. How 50 billion soldiers. How many of them are there? Enemy soldiers keep coming into view without any sign of stopping. Hecky summer. By our count, the Bunin army has already exceeded 15k men. And there is still more coming. Uh, he's only got 10,000. It brings 
I, I, I bring urgent news. The Quanrong Bunin army has surpassed 15k men and the number is still increasing. Meow. The Goba army in front of Bajo is already at 20,000. The Figo army's opponent, Talk, also has 20... Oh, no. <laughs> Against the odds again. What? How can that be possible? You're saying all three Quanrong armies are fielding numbers more than double what we've seen up until yesterday. And individually, that's it seems like they're stronger too. Tatnua-sama, could this mean our plan is now? The plan hasn't changed. With their supplies nearing the end, the first thing our enemies will do is target our three commanders. I can see right through the thought process of these apes. I mean, it's not much of a... I don't know, difficult, tactical, elaborate strategy. Even if you can see right through it, you still need to stop it. That's the main thing. Like, even if you can see right through it, you still need to stop it. Um, and that's why the strategy, you know, it works because it's so simple. You either win or you lose. Now, like, for all the tactical battles and all of that, all the strategies out the window, you need to win or you lose. It, it's really that simple. I can see right through the third process of these apes. It doesn't look like we'll need to wait until they run out of food since we drew. Correct. We will engage them and finish everything today. The 553. Looting. Looting. We're all looting for food right now. <gasps> looting! Alright. 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 Let me get something to drink. I'll be right back in a second. We're back. <laughs> We're back. <clears throat> so, chapter 554. Offense and defense of the Heki army. There's a very famous saying that I very much subscribe to. Offense wins you games, defense wins you titles. In this case, translated to the Kingdom World, offense wins you battles, defense wins you wars. So let us see what is um, what the offense and defense of the Heki army, um, what this chapter is all about. Let us leave it at what the chapter is all about. Let us hop right in. How can there be so many? Isn't this already more than... 20k eesh, 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 15k in the last time they counted, now it's 20k eesh, damn it, they decide to come out in full force today of all days, sire, it says sir, I know, but sire, I will look out, say that Baggio and the Figo King's opponents have doubled in numbers too, what, what did you say, could it be, could it be that any, our enemy has seen for our plan to take down the free command, it's not a very complicated or complex plan. Like, I, I, I could decipher that, right? Just by looking at it, I could be like, yeah, you know what? They're running out of options. So they're either going to retreat, um, which, you know, they're the mountain folks. They're not really going to retreat. Um, or they're going to, like, uh, try and do the best that they can, which they're trying to do. <laughs> so it's not like... I don't know why, but it looks like... Yeah, probably just my imagination. It looks like the microphone is kind of, like bent this way instead of like being straight i don't know maybe that's just my imagination anyway uh you think so sir general heck yeah katari dono the enemy has read our plan and now advances out to crush us instead your men do not stand the chance of weathering an attack from such a large army we will move to the front which should allow our soul which should allow your soldiers the opportunity to fall back you mean to switch out to the rear and front armies heck sama should we agree to Katarigono's request? Hurry up and piss off. You're in the way. You have my sincere thanks, but that will not be necessary, Katarigono. I, Heki, have promised your Tanwa Dono to show her what sort of man I am. Forward infantry, battalion of the Heki army. Today is the day we'll show the Quanrong our power. And they're just marching forward. This is the, this is the strength of an army. Not the mountain folks, but the strength of an army. Forward with single-minded resolve. Bon and Samar, the enemy started moving towards us. It's the Shin army too, not the mountain apes. They're even stupider than the apes then. Throw our cavalry at them. Yes, sir. 
Time to claim the heads of these shin fools. Here they come! Quan Rong Cavalry, so many of them. Herky Summer, don't panic. We just need to do as we've always done. But, but sir, this is the Quan Rong Cavalry we're up against, and in such large numbers too, it's fine. After eight whole days of fighting, even we would have grown used to them. In which case, the only thing that comes next is to demonstrate our strength. Our st strength? We're almost here. You not ready for this? That's right. Through fundamental tactics. Archers, sir. Yeah, none of that mountain folks, none of that Quan Rong, you know, battle. We're talking just straight up fundamental battle. Shields. Tried and tested warfare. Tried and tested. I want to say modern warfare, but it's not. That is not really modern. Um, but tried and tested standard battle warfare. This army warfare. There you go. The only army on this field, actually, that is like a. Actually, no, the Zhao have a few people, but like that is like very traditional in how they do things. Like that could be a big benefit. That could be a big, big benefit. But yeah, just arrows falling loose. The horses, the back, the the Quan Rong men that like. I'm being hit. <laughs> they drew them in on purpose. Yeah, but that still wasn't enough. There's still cavalry that's going to make it past it. Here they come, shield troopers. Brace. That's what shields are for, and spears as well. Yes, yeah, so some of them make it through. A lot of them just, just crash and burn. Quan Rong men. Yeah. Terrible way to go. But I think all the ways here are terrible ways to go, to be totally honest here. Mm, they got inside. Now that we're in, we're unstoppable. Kill them. Dead. It seemed like an... Yeah. Uh, uh, one through the eye, I think, and one through the mouth. Oof, that's... Uh, that, that hurts. That, that hurts. There are archers inside the formation where they embedded with the infantry just to take out any enemies that broke through. So they were going for this instead of long range. Leave the enemies inside to our sweep archers. To our sweepers. Not sweep archers. To our sweepers. We need to plug up the holes in our wall and just like immediately. Just ding, 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 Offense and defense. It kind of makes sense. It's, it's both at once. Let them come. Soak up the pressure. And then hit them. Uh, that's basically what it is. Soak up the pressure and hit them. Be like a sponge. <laughs> very simple. Very, very, very simple. Also, we need more replacement for the archers shooting in front. The gaps are even closed. So fast. They did it so smoothly too. Are they elites, brothers? No. They're just very standard soldiers. That's the thing. Just very standard, very well drilled. There's nothing spe- It doesn't seem like there's anything special about the Heki army. They're just well- a well-oiled machine. That's what they are. Like nothing. Nobody here is like, oh yeah, I'm Shin. I I, I can just like leap into enemies. Or I'm Kukai. I can just <sighs> no, nothing of that sort. It's just all like yeah, <coughs> formation. Just straight up. That that's how it is. Like, <coughs> all right, we got it, General. We got it, General. Repair and defend. By no means are we performing anything outrageous or special. I know that my army and I are the last place someone would look for if they were seeking flashiness. Basically exactly what I should say. However, what I can promise is that we have practiced every single fundamental tactics, hundred upon hundreds of... Okay, he basically did it. I could just skip that dialogue right now. <laughs> Here they come, the second wave, loose, repair and defend. I have confidence that my men are capable of carrying out those two orders faster and smoother than any other army. Oh, I like that shot with like Heki just the background and there. I like the armies, everyone in front is just fighting a cavalry charge like this that seeks to make use of its numbers. We will draw you in and cut you down as many times as it takes. I'll teach you, Quan Rong, that there is nothing harder to deal with than a fundamental tactic that is unable to be toppled once the rhythm starts going. Hey, Veki. <laughs> Veki. I admit I have slightly underestimated him, as expected of a general of Shin. More like the Quanrongs are idiots. C call off the cavalry and cut off the heads of those who failed just now. Oh yeah, please cut them off. Uh, help us with our task. Cut your own men. Heads off. Okay, cool. Send the infantry in. Yes, sir. Uh, the Quanrong infantry. Heck summer. The enemy's infantry has begun to advance. Those guys alone are close to 10,000. Prepare for infantry combat. Switch out the formations in the middle. Yes, sir. 
Don't let the numbers scare you. Stick to the basics and form up your five-man squad. We've clearly seen you know, all the other units. For example, the Heishin unit have their five-man squad. Very effective. Even against better opponents, it's very effective. All squad leaders, make sure to take into account our 50-man Zoku and 100-man Haku blocks while fighting. Yes, sir. We're advancing too. Ha! Don't let the Quanrong blocks push you back. Ha! Let off. And that was quick. Just like... Like that. Like that. Like that. Just off like that. Infantry, make up the bulk of both the enemy and our forces. And now they're almost about to clash. I would still go with archers, honestly, if that was me. I'd still, like, have a line of defense and archers above them. Just shoot them. And then, obviously, once they get closer, you know, that's when you start, um, that's when you start switching up formations. You know, maybe, like, have the, the shield troops, like, starting to fall back. Um, while the, uh, you know, because then the enemy will chase them, essentially. Like, you're falling back. The enemy is coming after you. And then your archers just continues to let loose. But then again, your, your archers, they're not like a machine gun. You can't just... It's like... So, like, like, like perhaps it, w it wouldn't be that useful. Perhaps. Perhaps. Infantry make up the bulk of, the, of both the enemy and our forces. And now they're almost about to clash. Katarina, General Haki. It seems the clash between the bulk of our forces comes sooner than expected. I would like your mountain tribes in the rear to make ready to join the battle. I had thought the same thing, but I fear our enemy, Bunin, is not that simple of a man. His advancing infantry is not his main attack. I would wager that he will not show us his true offense until later on. Brother, our Mevak are here. We shall advance towards the right and prepare to make a charge. If the infantry begin to falter, then we will then we shall cut in through the right to assist them. And if an opening presents itself, we will go for Bunin's head. Alright. Alright, the Mera Mera tribe. The Mera Mera. Flame flame. That, that's that's one Mera Mera. Mero 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 Mera 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 yeah flame Mero 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 means love Mera means fire or flame okay my one piece knowledge coming in handy here <laughs> but don't become reckless in your eagerness because we intend to break through the center to reach Bonin's head all right all right because we intend to break through the center to reach Bonin's head I understand that general Heggy and off they go off they go you just see Soldiers clashing the capital. I, I need to make a shirt, right? I don't know what the shirt would be. I can't just have the word, it wouldn't be the capitation without kingdom. That would be a bit too simple. Maybe just like a flying head and just writing underneath kingdom. That's it. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm maybe joking. I, maybe maybe joking. I don't know. Right. Hecky summer. The infantry have engaged each other. Yeah. And then until we meet again, and off to go. I'll be sure to take Bunnan's head right as you fall in battle. She's like, uh, she does not like him. But I like her. <laughs> yeah, she's alright. She's alright. She's alright. A little bit of an annoying brat, honestly, but her brother is cool. Katari is cool. Katari, I don't know. I will also be praying for your good fortune, Katari Dono. Flap. And he, he flaps like, look at me. I'm so cool. Like, like no, stop. He definitely got the wrong idea and thought I was wishing him a look exactly. Flap, man. I just... Ah, I'm a general. Wecky. That's my new name. Wecky. Boom. What the? That came from the left. Brother, that noise must be here. From Baggio's field. And you just see them. Baggio. Baggio, I think, is going to be the only one I'm certain can handle it. Like the Fibo tribe, I'm not 100% sure. Hecky, he's doing very well right now, but I'm also not 100% sure. But the Baggio tribe, like the Baggio army, is the one I'm right hand man to your time, right? The only, the only army I can be sure that are capable of handling everything that comes their way. Hecky Summer, the battlefield is also I. Looks like they've gotten started too. May good fortune come your way too, Baggio. Cree. Danto Sama, yeah. That damn Baggio's begun, huh? The Hecky army, even further right, has started to. What? Bah! And here I hoped I was going to be the first one. But who'd have thought that the youngest brother would be so terrible? Man, another, another spell like that. But who'd have thought that the youngest brother would so ter. Would. There should be a, there should be a B. Would be. So terrified of the Figo King that he wouldn't even come out to play. So now I'm the one who's fallen behind. Guahahaha. And he's just going off. 
It's just going off Figo King. Chanma Sama, all three armies have begun. It's been a long time since the last felt this. The sensation of being balanced on a knife's edge. Battle of Ryu. It, it, it's insane she's saying that. Balance. I, I know what she means. Like, like it could go either way. Like, more, so, more so, if it just slightly shifts in the enemy's favor, they would get destroyed. But, like, the fact that, like, the enemies have twice your numbers and everything, right? And, and she's still, like, the sensation of being balanced. Like, like, like my goodness. <laughs> you certainly think a lot of yourself. So do I, granted. But... You certainly think a lot of yourself. I like that. Battle of Ryuyo. The fateful Ninefed. 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 The fateful Ninefed day. With everything gambled upon. It begins. It begins. Are we going to actually stick here? I don't know. Ooh, I like this volume cover spread. With Oki. Ooh, that, that's nice. That's nice. Every, every, every Everything that's been going on, what, what, what's special about this? 555? It says 50 something, so. 50 million copies sold in total? I'm not, I'm not sure. Or was this like the announcement for like the TV? No, the, the, the TV announcement was happened earlier, unless it's like season 2 TV announcement, I think. It, it, it's, it, it's, com it's, commem it's commemorating something. I don't know what it is. It, it says 50 there. So I'm assuming 50 million units um, in total sold, which would be fantastic. Um, I mean, I know Kingdom is like... I want to say the best-selling seinen, honestly, but I'm not 100% sure. Because um, obviously there are other things that have a larger legacy, but like don't upload as frequently as Kingdom. So I'm not sure if it's the best-selling seinen each year. But I know it's like up there, basically. I think it might actually be the best-selling scene. I think it was at least for 2019, I think. Anyway, chapter 555. Um, the Peace Meal Targeting. Okay. The Peace Meal... I, I don't even know how to... How, how to how, peace Meal Targeting. So what, you're just going to focus on... Um, Smaller units? The path that I walk on now is a continuation of the dream that I swore back in those days. Live action. Oh, that's what it is. Live action movie adaptation. Con I think I, that, that's out already, right? Because I know, like, man, when did this come out? It feels like when I started Kingdom, there's like a the news about this. And like, because uh, I remember, like, on Discord, uh, somebody sending me the, like a trailer for it. But that seemed like it was like last year. And that's not that's not right because there's like how many chapters are there? Six fifty, six forty three, as of right now. So that's two years. Fifty, let's say fifty chapters a year. You know, with Golden Week and everything, fifty chapters a, a year. Um, that's two years. So that must have happened. To, I mean, it's just an adaptation. So maybe not not even trailer or anything. First edition sale records keep get. Oh, that also that. First edition sale records keep getting broken. Nice, 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 nice. A lot of good news. A lot of good news. And now we're switching over to the Kanki army. Okay, 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 okay. It appears that today the Zhao forces finally seize their attacks in all four directions, no less. They are content to simply surround us and wait in silence. I mean, that, that's understandable considering that they have the food, you don't. Which pretty much confirms our suspicion that Gyo's food stores will outlast that of ours and by a sizable margin too. Line up properly, there's not much, but go, everyone will get a share. Thank you so much. Line up. I heard, from, you know what would be a kanky move to do? If like people inside inside Gyo if people inside Gyo were from Kanki's if there were like a few from like Kanki's group or something and then like they would like sabotage the food from the inside now that would be a Kanki thing to do do I think that's gonna happen no because even Kanki doesn't have that much foresight and he can't just smuggle in right now because that's just it's fully guarded so that's not gonna happen unfortunately but like, like that, that would be a Kanki kind of thing to do Line up properly. There's not much, but everyone will get a share. Thank you so much. Line up. I heard from the soldiers that in just a few more days, Shin will lose. We just need to hang on behind a bit more. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm still hungry. Bear with it for now. Wait. That's mine. Uh, infighting. You there. Stop that. No. I'm not Raido son, but has there been any communication from the Osin or your Tanwa armies? You think we'd get any? Even if they sent any out, the messengers would get killed on the way. 
which means that the only future that would allow the survival of our Kanki army is for them to succeed. It requires either army to triumph over their opponents and somehow acquire a huge amount of food to bring to us, nothing else. <laughs> That's a proper simp noise. <laughs> Boss, would you promise me just one thing? The very moment that we only have a single day of rations remaining, we lift the siege on Gyo and begin an immediate withdrawal. Foo. Sure. If we really do reach that point, that is. In which way is he, in which way is he thinking? I'm like, oh, yeah, well, well, well that time. Yeah, we'll, have, we'll, we'll have finished this. Or is he thinking, um... Yeah, we won't reach that point. Uh, we're gonna all die. <laughs> which way? Which way is this ain't that? Shukai planes, the red planes, and we're going back to the Heishin unit. Fihei, that didn't do shit. Even when I taunt them, these assholes didn't want to attack us. That was a taunt? Quit wasting your energy, Bihei. We're already hungry enough as it is. Damn it. Ain't there a frog around here somewhere in your dreams? We ate everything up. Eat the pen. <laughs> That's what you need to do. Eat them. It's no use. Um, Shin is healed. Nice. 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 I'm assuming Kyukai is healed as well. It's no use. I mean, it's been a few days, obviously, so yeah. The enemy is completely switched to a battle of who has more food since yesterday. If Zhao's huge army has decided to stop focus on, uh, on defending, then they are not going to buckle unless we put some serious thought into our strategy. Don't just go and try to take charge. He's the strategist here. Yeah. Oh, hon, shut up, right? I know, like, you're the strategist of your team, right? But that's not the case for the Heishin unit. There's an actual st strategist that is not Shin uh, for the Heishin unit, so let her speak. Y you call her trying to take charge, General Aku. Seeing as Moten's left wing is barely maintaining their stalemate, it falls to the right wing to defeat our opponent if we are to have any hopes of winning this battle. Adding on to that, we also need to take into account the fact that we only have enough food for four more or four or five more days, says the guy who is now trying to act in charge. Hey, 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 hey. That's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Roughly speaking, our right wing needs to smash through our opponents within the next three days, then combine with our center army to move against Zhao's center, then engage and defeat Riboku in just one day of fighting, before using our final day to head towards Gyo and regroup with the Kanki army. Hang on. Even if everything goes to plan like you said, won't we still run out of food? Once Ribaku is out of the picture, we'll have some options at least. We can procure some on the way back to Gyo, such as from the various villages and small raiding. Yeah, you're planning on pillaging those settlements for food. Surely even you realize that this isn't a time to be holding a moral high ground. Oh, on you, Shin. We'll only be taking their food, nothing else. And we we'll Really now. <laughs> really now. We see how often that goes. We see how often that goes. The Kanki army will arrive and make a, make a bridge out of corpses. Like, hello. <laughs> I know we were supposed to be at Gyo, but we just came here because we heard you were raiding a city. So we just came here to butch them up. And we'll make sure to split it all up properly. We'll record, we'll keep records of the amount too and promise to pay them back. Like, no, that's not going to happen. And if they refuse to share with us, that's enough. Akko army deputy, Gune. Who are you? That is a matter for the Commander Osen-sama to consider. Old man, okay. The only matter we need to be concerned about is how to slaughter our enemies. Gunei-sama, back to the question at hand. How do you intend to shut the Zhao's left wing in merely three days, young lord? He's not in charge yet, bro. To defeat him in one single move would be impossible. The reason being that Zhao's left wing does not have one commander that stands head and shoulders above the rest. One whose death would lead to directly to victory, so you gotta take them all out. What? There is no commander, as in, they're all equal. Gakwe, Chogaryo, Gyoon, Bananji. The lack of hierarchy. I like how Bananji's like, image is bigger than everyone else. Uh, he just looks that confident, and that's probably because of size. <laughs> the lack of hierarchy amongst them means taking any one of them w would only lead to would not lead to a total collapse of the Zhao force, but only partial. But that lack of hierarchy can also be exploited as a weakness. The fact that there isn't one person to oversee all four of them at the same time means that it's easy to take them out piecemeal, one at a time. So, okay, piecemeal targeting. That's where the chapter title is from. Piecemeal, huh? Then that means we will need to take out one of their armies today, right? Then one more army on the second day, and the remaining two on the third day. Then our top priority is that rem is that removal of one army today. I, do you have a target in mind? 
the one who can be seen to be the weakest out of the four armies. Gakwe. I agree with that very much. Bananzi, we've seen a little bit of, but like, not enough. The other two we know are proficient. Gakwe, he's just, I, he talks a good talk, but he's, he's kind of just there. Very well then. And today we shall entrust Gakwe to the Gyokoho and he, we'll work together. Work together. Right now. Just one is enough. No, we cannot afford failure on your part. The two of you shall strike a Gakwe together today, and he must die. Those are my orders as the commander of the right wing. As you command, Ohan of the Gyokoho shall do his part. That's the only time he's really been like, my orders. <laughs> the only way to get those two to work together, but it's that important. But there are still the other three armies to worry about. There's no way they'll hold still once you start attacking. And he's, he's got to say, I'll hold the baton back. Naturally, we will handle the, just him by himself. We will handle the other three. The Aku army still has strength to spare. To hold them down should be an easy enough task. The two of you need to, not to worry about your backs. Focus everything on Gakwe. Keep in mind that your target is not only Gakwe. You must take his entire army out of the game to now go. They used to just like walking off like, damn it, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. The ten is like, hee <laughs> <laughs> well, you, Gunai Sama, my young master has grown into a far, far exceeding my imagination, and it's all thanks to your efforts, Banyu. What are you saying? I didn't do. I, along with many of us, have always felt remorseful over the burden that you alone had to bear. Which truly, I'm glad that it was you of all people, for that is what allowed the young master to grow to be such an upstanding man. Gune Sama, sniff, I had always thought myself unworthy of. <laughs> I'm impressed you can cry at a time like this, but there is no doubt in my heart that the young master is a treasure of the O. Is a treasure of the O. Tell her to O. Tell her to O. Son, my brother. I'm counting on you to keep supporting him, Banyu. Yes, sir. Even if it costs me my this life, Fufu, now that. It's do or die starting from today. Good luck to you, Bano. Yeah, thank you, sir. And good luck to you as well. And so, the Gyoko, Ho, and the Hishin units would set off today on this plan to take Gakuei's head. But, unbeknownst to them, this would prove to backfire spectacular. Oh, no. Oh, no. Backfire spectacularly against the Shin forces. And the reason for that would be, you call for me. And they got it. A rebook. Okay. Okay, so clearly Bananji is gonna be up to some big stuff because Riboku is here. You have my apologies, Bananji, for calling you away from your men. No, it's no issue seeing as there is not much going on anyway. You've come this far already, so you might as well come to headquarters. It's only a bit further. Rebook summer doesn't have the time to waste on that. <laughs> and what are you implying by that, Kane? It would seem that your condition remains normal, Bananji. Condition? Aye. I fight and I fight, but compared to the rage that I felt while battling the Zhongnu in the north, uh, the rage. And you call yourself the demon of Ganmon? And that's what kind of man lets his mood control his condition? This is a war we're in the middle of. The exact, the reason is exactly because it is a war. But I suppose it's much too much for a little lass like you to understand. Ugh, the back and forth, the jab, and the, the uh, see, uh, that just shows how, how I'm not a fighter, I'm like, uh. Just <laughs> after two jabs, I'm already like. <sighs> <laughs> the hell did you say? I suppose the fact that you've remained like this would mean that the left wing still stands in a position of strength. <laughs> yes, although we have also lost a fair number of good men. So what has brought you here, Rubakusama? There is something I have noticed after observing this battleground for the last few days. And it is my belief that Shin shall make a move today. Hence my rushing here to share that knowledge with you. And what would that be? The Akko army's weakness. Boy oh boy. The Akko army's weakness, eh? What's the weakness? Now, there's always like, they always have something like that. Where they like, they say something. And you're just like, what could it be? What could it be? What could Ribuku, Ribuku, the great general, see, have seen? And I'm like, I don't know. We've seen too little of the Akko army to really know what they're all about. That's my thing. We've seen too little of them to act for me to actually like identify what the weakness could be. So I'm not even gonna speculate. I'm just gonna say we'll find out next time, ladies and gentlemen. We'll find out next time. Regardless, darling and gentlemen, I'll be seeing you all in the next one, everyone. Um, this one was a fun, fun.
fun one because you know we, we, we've spent a lot of the time on the youngsters obviously and in, in, in the main war but like i like how we like had our focus shift to the otanwa faction because that was just brilliant because they're just in a predicament as well uh where they have to win um so i full I, I expect us to shift back later on to that side i, I don't think we're gonna skip this day because this day is so important for that yotanwa army so I, I fully expect us to like switch back to that yotanwa army and the mountain folks versus the guangrong um so we'll see how everything progresses obviously we had a little bit of time skipped here and there that's fine i guess but i hope we don't skip too much now because now if it seemed like I felt like we weren't at the crucial phase just now, but now it seems like we are at the crucial phase. But I know that we're not at the crucial phase because there's a hundred more chapters. So, what next? I don't know. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be seeing you all in the next one, everyone. Until then, just make sure that your meal is not piecemealed. But I'll be seeing you all in the next one, everyone. Until then, have a nice day. Peace out and bye. Hey everybody, if you like this video, please be sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe and if you want to see more of these kind of videos, be sure to check out Patreon to get one week early access as well as full length. But until next time everybody, peace out and have a nice day.